It was a dark and stormy night. No <laughs> well, what? Hey guys, so I'm going to be telling you my dreams. Yeah, you'll be surprised at the kind of stuff that goes on in my head while I'm asleep. So here it goes. I was getting ready to go out and I had this beautiful long flowing gown, cruelty free of course. Um, I went to this beautiful, enormous restaurant and there were so many people and it was so amazing. Everybody was dressed fantastic <laughs> and I knew that everybody was wearing clothes that were cruelty free because it was a vegan restaurant and it was a vegan event, you know. And, like, it was all the amazing foods combined into, like, this beautiful, like, forest of deliciousness that's all vegan. And before I entered the restaurant, there was a man in front of me entering the restaurant. Um, because this is a vegan event, of course, this was a vegan man. He was a very tall man. Um, I know exactly who it was, but I'm not going to give the name away. He had on this amazing tuxedo that it was just amazing. Like, he had this, like, tie that just, it, it just fit his body so well and and he was such a gentleman and without even looking he knew I was behind him and he held the door open for me and he brought me in he led me in he says this is your seat beautiful lady and he says is there anything that I can get for you um, before we start, and I said, no, that's fine, I'm, I'm great, and he says, oh, you're more than great, you're amazing, <laughs> and this man was such a gentleman throughout the whole entire night, and a lot of people outside of the vegan community think that he's just a vicious person that he's so angry and violent when he's in real life he's he's really not um so back to my dream uh it was an event that was honoring both him and I um for Canada and we were one of the founders of getting rid of the slaughterhouses and reintroducing the country into a vegan lifestyle. And crime rates were down and obesity was completely gone and, and people, they still had free health care but they didn't really need it. And disease was gone, and oh, it was so amazing. And like I said, the f food was like a fountain of, like a fountain forest. It was it was just so amazing, and so gorgeous. And like that that was one of the most amazing dreams. And apparently. Um, this particular man, um, was my fiancé, which, uh, I didn't find out until, um, we were introduced, um, to someone from another country. Um, the person in particular said that, oh, this is... Uh, Virginia Delgado Gonzalez and her fiance and 
of course they said the name, but I'm not going to give it away. Um, but it was amazing, and like I couldn't help but feel happy when I woke up because. Like, I understand that, yeah, I find this person attractive and it's because that he's such a good person and he has these strong morals and doesn't care about the negativity that comes to him, but he cares more about changing the world, which is amazing. And, oh, uh, it was, it was such an amazing dream. Like, I, I can't, I can't even fathom how much of an amazing dream it was because, you know, there's, there's no level high enough to describe how amazing it was. Like, there's no, I don't know. Okay, anyway. <laughs> um, so, yes, this m man was, um... Tall, dark, and handsome, like, uh, the obvious, um, typical, uh, man that women typically want, um, but it was just so amazing. The night was amazing. We danced. We ate <laughs> a lot of amazing vegan food, and, and it was just, it was perfect. It was a perfect night, and the night ended with... Him taking me home and kissing me goodnight and then falling asleep not just beside me but holding me and you know it was it was such a sweet sweet dream and you know when they say oh sweet dreams <laughs> well there you go I got one um but yeah it was it was quite amazing to feel the feeling that I felt when I woke up because I didn't know that I could feel that happy just from a dream and wishing that it was real so there you go that's my dream um, I have more to come and of course because you know <laughs> people dream all the time um, so I hope you have a wonderful day or night, wherever you are, whenever you're watching this. And be vegan because, you know, my dream, my dream is a premonition that, you know, once everybody goes vegan, everybody's going to be healthy. So, <laughs> I love you guys. Have a great day. If you like this. Please come back for more, like, subscribe, and be sure to tell your friends to go vegan as well. <laughs> I swear it's not a chore. Love you guys. Bye.